This is one of the great benefits of Turner Flats fishing dawn patrol. Head out first thing in the morning, sun's not even up yet. Fish for a couple hours before you even meet your guide. It's the best. Crossing the seawall once again. So many coral heads out there. So many coral heads and they're just so easy to break you off. I've got three or four coral. Here comes my fly line. That's good. I've got three or four coral heads I'm dealing with. He's swimming towards one. First fish of the morning, sweet. Right in front of the lodge. yards away from the room. Alright, so what makes Turnip number one in my opinion? <laughs> this, the fishing. I mean, I'm out here, it's 5.45. I've already landed one bone fish right in front of the lodge. I'm gonna go in, grab breakfast, I'm gonna meet my guide at seven. I've got a legitimate shot at getting a grand slam on a day like this. Bone fish is in the bag. Maybe you get lucky, you land a tarpon at 10 or 11. You've got the rest of the day to fish for permit. Plus with all the species, you even have a chance at a super slam. They have snook here too. 
There's not too many places where you can come and have a legitimate shot at all three of the main species right in one place. And not only that, you're out here and you've got this incredible flat right in front of the lot. So my deal today, 4.45 I'm up, I'm out the door at 5.05, come out, fish, fish for an hour, hour and a half, go in, get some breakfast, go to the boat, meet your guide, fish all day long, then come back, drop your stuff off at the room, come out and fish again, fish till seven. Dinner's not till after dark. So if you're hardcore and you wanna fish all day long, you can't beat this place because so many places don't offer fishing right out your door. You only can fish with your guide during the day. So those lag times in between, you're just kind of hanging out. And that's fine, that's great, nothing wrong with that. But if you're hardcore and you wanna go all day long, you can't beat this place. Come on, okay. you wanna get closer? Okay. No, that's good. Better not. All right, hold on, let's stop. Put it right closer, as close as you can. Yeah, right it's keeping it right now. Let's keep stripping them, I don't see that. They're coming this way. One is coming, one is coming. They're coming, they're right yeah. on it. Trip it Good. Down. Got it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh-oh. Push it, push it, push it. Hold on, I'll push it. This is awesome. What is that with your line, man? Hold on, let it, let it down, down, down. Oh, it's got good, 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 good. Uh, good, 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 good. Oh, oh, oh. Got him? Yeah. All right. Keep it up high from the core. That's the first time. First time for everything, man. That was cool. Sign. That was the first time you've seen that? Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have broke him off. Uh-huh. Definitely. <laughs> I can't hold it anymore, so I had to let it go. Ah, definitely. That's good. That was a great eat, man. It really was. You saw him like one fish peel off the school when he saw it, and then they all followed over. You called it too. He's like, it was coming. It'd be nice if we had some sun so we could see all the colors on this thing. This things are gorgeous. So I had a cool opportunity to sit down with Craig Hayes. Craig founded Turn of Flats 40 years ago in 1981 when he came to Belize checking out different fishing areas looking for bonefish. What he's accomplished here is nothing short of incredible. So I wanted to find out a bit more about Turn of Atoll, about Turn of Flats Lodge itself the systems he has in place here to make it 100% off-grid, and just find out more about the background. So here's a little bit of that conversation I had with him. Tell me a bit about your background and how you got this thing started. I came down with some friends to uh, Belize in 1977 to go on vacation. Um, somebody said, let's go to Belize, and I said, yeah, sounds good, where is that? <laughs> and uh, we, had, we had a great time, kept coming back year after year, and. 
and we kept hearing about this far away place, Turna. Finally talked some fishermen into taking us out here, and a friend and I uh, stayed in a, in a plywood uh, shack for a, a few days and pulled lobster pots, and uh, uh, I guess about that same time we had talked about starting a business in Belize because we were coming fairly often. About that time I saw an article in Sports Illustrated about bone fishing at Turna, and I just started fly fishing, and so I asked the, the local lobster fisherman if, he, if there were any bonefish around his, his place and he said oh yeah there, there, there definitely were so uh, we talked about things and we decided well that's it we'll start a bone fishing lodge. Tell me a little bit about Turnip Atoll and just the atoll itself. The Turnip is really a special uh, place it's uh, the largest and most biologically diverse atoll in the, in the whole Caribbean it's sort of an isolated coastal marine ecosystem. It's 1,000 feet deep on one side, 3,000 feet deep on the other side, surrounded completely by a, a fringing coral reef. All the aspects of a coastal marine ecosystem with the extensive back reef flats on the east side, extensive man mangrove stands, the most extensive in Belize, the Toro Forest, extensive seagrass beds, two large lagoons, creeks, channels, it's kind of everything. So it's, it's really a unique and special place and you know, we didn't really understand that fully, uh, uh, you know, of course, when we first came here, young and naive, but, but we've really grown to uh, appreciate how special it is and, and a big part of our effort over the last 25, 30 years has been uh, protecting Turner. Yeah. Uh, one thing that I think is the coolest thing about Turner Flats is that just, just the whole being 100% off grid here, self sufficient. Tell me about what you've done to accomplish that and with such a large facility here. Yeah, well, one of our major focuses has been uh, not only pay lip service to the idea of sustainability but to, to truly develop a sustainable uh, facility. So we have our own water system, our own waste systems, our own um, uh, power system. Uh, as you mentioned, we're completely off the grid. One of the things I think is the hardest challenge for me would be water and power. Tell me about those two systems. Our water is primarily rainwater. We uh, collect rainwater off of all of our roofs and we now store about um, 250,000 gallons of rainwater. Um, and then figuring out how to, how to handle that, how to store it safely, keep it fresh. Our power is, is a big thing. Uh, for many years we ran on diesel generators like most places. And uh, about three years ago we put in an off-grid solar system, um, 110 kW solar system. Um, we think it's Maybe the largest off-grid system in the Caribbean. Is that right, Ted? <laughs> Is that right? Well, that's cool. I'll let you go. That was uh, <coughs> that was fun. That was interesting. Very, very cool. Okay. Uh, he's right in here somewhere. Uh, I try to turn the wood in. Get he's up a little ways. Yep. See him? Oh, nice permit. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 nice. All right, hold on, I lost him again, hold on. Oh, there he is. No, don't cast him. No? Unless you have him. You see? don't want to spook him, dude. Hold on, hold on. See that water pushing there? Yeah, I see him, he's up here. All right. Okay, you got him. All right. But the boat with the crosswind is tough. Yeah, yeah. I'll try to get the boat around for you. Not yet. Nah, he's there he is. Yeah, yeah, there he is, there he is. I think I might be able to make that. All right, go ahead. Can we try? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I can do go that. Ahead. He's coming. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to drop that. All right. Shift, shift, shift. He got it, he got it, he got it. He got it. He got it. Shift, shift, shift. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He got it just now. Oh. God, he went down on it. He went down on it. 
Hold on, hold on. You see when he stopped? He stopped and went down. That's his tail. Yeah, he went down at that crab. <laughs> Sweet shot, dude. Man, that was good. Oh, man. Yeah, I didn't feel him. Yeah. But I was... Because you, I, we both thought your cast was going to be long, but you dropped it perfect, but it had slack. Yeah, man. Oh, Sorry. Dude, that was so cool, man, watching him tail on it. He went down on it, definite, man. Yeah. So I messed up again. Unbelievable. Oh, don't worry about it. It's fishing, man. <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We'll get one. Let's see. I'm going to drown myself. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to go slow. Yeah, yeah. That was good, dude. He ate it. He, he ate it, man. Sometimes you don't just pick up. That was beautiful. The agony of permit fishing. Get used to it. You have to love pain. A bunch of little permits right here. Oh, little guy, though. Go for the big guy. Oh, a little farther, maybe. Right in his nose. There you go. Perfect. Oh, that was not his tail. Not his tail. tail. Not his tail. Yeah. Yeah, one of the top of the top. Yeah. Oh, it's too far. That's the right one of the top. feet in there, right?